This week in the Missouri Senate, we review more legislative priorities. Senate Bill 756 with Senate Committee Substitute. Several hours were spent on Senate Bill 756, sponsored by Senator Bill White of Joplin. This bill is our utility bill. We actually had it on the floor a little bit as an amendment on a bill from the senator from the 8th. During Monday's discussion on the floor of the Missouri Senate, Senator Jill Shoup of Creve Coeur called this major legislation. They impact every single ratepayer in this state, rural, suburban, urban, everybody across the state, including our businesses. Senate Bill 756 receives Missouri Senate approval and now moves to the Missouri House of Representatives for similar consideration. Senate Bill number 683 with Senate Committee. Tuesday evening saw time devoted to Senate Bill 683, a measure that seeks to make changes to rules governing child care. Sponsor, Senator Cindy O'Laughlin of Shelbina says her proposal is in response to an error in what is known as Nathan's Law. Inadvertently, what that did was cut down the number of children that some of our licensed daycare homes could have. During discussion, Senator Shoup attempted to add an amendment. First opportunity to become the custodial parents of a child who needs to have determined for him or her where she or he should go. The amendment was not adopted. Senate Bill 683 gets first round Missouri Senate approval. Another positive vote would send this to the Missouri House of Representatives for its consideration. House Joint Resolution 117. Wednesday morning, the Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee discussed House Joint Resolution 117, which, upon voter approval, would propose a constitutional amendment relating to Missouri HealthNet. Senator Bill Lagle of Weldon Springs serves on this panel and is among the senators who would like to see Medicaid reform. And want to throw more money at this program, which will lead it into insolvency faster and hurt more people more greatly. It's really just amazing to me. During committee discussion, Senator Lauren Arthur of Kansas City says this resolution would overturn a previous popular vote on Medicaid expansion. If we're being honest, this allows the General Assembly to decide to not fund that expanded population. House Joint Resolution 117 is now eligible for the full Missouri Senate's consideration. We're excited. The budget's coming over our way. Teacher pay raises. Missouri Senate Majority Floor Leader Caleb Rodden of Columbia says the Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee is looking at funding not included in the Missouri House of Representatives version of the fiscal year 2023 operating budget. Ready to take that and figure out what we can do to really take advantage of this unique opportunity we have with some additional resources. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Kansas City adds he believes this money could be used for teacher salaries. As far as I look at it, it's about $50 million for 34 Senate districts. And I don't think there's going to be any lack of ideas over here on how to spend that. Missouri senators could approve their version of the next budget in two weeks. Senate adjourn until Tuesday, April 19th. Missouri senators will return to the Capitol on Tuesday following their Easter holiday. Only four weeks remain in session. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.